Welcome to Watkins Glen, New York for NASCAR on NBC, presented by Subway, the 22nd race of the season. Let's go trackside and join the pre-race ceremonies. Ladies and gentlemen, please continue standing for the invocation from MRO. Here's Eric Quinn. Let's pray. Heavenly Father, we are so thankful for your grace and your mercy that you show us every day. We ask God that you'd be in this place today, that you'd protect these drivers and these crewmen as they compete. We ask God that you'd be with the officials, give them wisdom as they watch over the competitors. I ask God for these fans, that they would get a special blessing today, that you'd watch over them, give them a great day here, and help them to get home safely. And I thank you for it. We pray all this in Jesus' name. Amen. Now, ladies and gentlemen, to perform our national anthem, would you please welcome Bluegrass Vocalist of the Year, Rhonda Vincent. Oh, say can you see by the dawn's early light what so proudly we hail at the twilight's last gleaming whose broad stripes and bright stars through the We're so gallantly streaming And the rocket's red flag The bombs bursting in the air Gave proof through the night That our flag was still there Oh, say does that star span then yet our Grand Marshal Tom Purvis. Tom? Gentlemen, please start your engines. Sunday afternoon drive is 220.5 miles long over a pretty tricky track. Now here are the three guys whose ultimate job is to keep all of us out of the kitty litter this afternoon. Alan, Wally, and Benny. Trying to regain our composure, those fireworks from the National Anthem, they were a little close here. Of things we're going to talk about today we don't normally speak of in a race on Sunday. Let's see, we got a bus stop, gravel traps, wheel hop, <laughs> and backwards pit stops. Molly, things are just different here. Yeah, but this place is fun. I mean, this is a racetrack that you charge the corners, you get to downshift, you get to stand on the gas, you get to hang it out. There's a lot of drivers here that love running this place. There's a lot of guys that don't. But like you said, there's going to be a lot of guys that get in trouble with this wheel hop because that's when you got too much rear brake. Watch Dale Jr. Watch the rear of the car here. The rear is actually bouncing off the ground, and that happens for one of two reasons. One is you have too much rear brake, or BP, if you downshift, and not slow the car down with the brakes, you'll get that wheel hot. And these guys today have got to stay on the racetrack. If they expect to win, they've got to stay on the pavement. Yesterday in practice, guys. <laughs> Dale Earnhardt Jr. in the gravel. Greg Bibble starts on the outside pole. He's in the gravel. And folks, it takes at least one lap for the safety crews to come out and get you. In last year's race, Matt Kenseth loses control. Wheel hop, 
too much rear brake, whatever, for whatever reason, he's in the grass. And once again, it takes at least one lap for the safety crews to come out and get you. And that's a lap you can't make up here. It's amazing working with the professional. He never missed a beat when those know? jets just went over our head. You and I were ducking. They had, it's a good thing they had the tape on camera. Hey, we've also talked about rain and the possibility of threatening weather. NASCAR